friends welcome back today we're going to be looking at another collection from Essie we did just swatch one from them the other day but they had a limited edition collection launched this summer it's a collection full of jellies there are six new jelly polishes and it's called the glazed days collection I purchased the collection from transdesign.com I have noticed since I purchased it it wasn't too long ago but there's already a shade I think sold out you can get some of these online at ulta.com and hopefully they'll pop up some more places. So recently in a live video I asked you guys what you wanted to see next and this Essie collection was second most requested to the China Glaze Neutrals which we did just look at on my channel the other day. So now we're going to look at these Essies. So I'm going to give you a live swatch just like I always do. This is kind of my first impression swatch that you're watching and then I show you a full manicure on my nails. So these jellies are jelly so keep that in mind if jellies are your thing you're probably really gonna like these they are more pigmented than the previous jellies that they had in the watercolor collection those silk watercolor jellies I think they did a couple of years ago these are more pigmented but they're still jelly so you're still gonna be able to see a little bit of your nail line the longer your nail is you know and some people have more stark nail lines like I have a pretty noticeable one some people's not so much it just depends on your nails and your preference of whether or not you're gonna like this look they aren't really meant to get totally opaque like a cream polish but there's lots of things that you can use a jelly polish for so you could of course just wear them on their own like I have the green today I actually have it a couple variation of coats here because I was going to play around with some things. Jelly polishes also really come in handy if you're doing nail art. So here are four different techniques that you could use these polishes for. I have a jelly sandwich there on my pointer finger. Then to the right of that I did a green gradient using the green, the yellow, and the blue from this collection. So just layering one on top of each other to make different colors without having to sponge it. Then I have a smush manicure on my fourth finger. That's where you take like a plastic bag or you could take a different tool than the plastic bag. But and then you just drop some different colors onto the plastic bag and you smush it onto the nail and you just go for a, as abstract as you can. That's over a white base, the middle two fingers are. And on my pinky, I wanted to demonstrate the lead lighting technique. I believe this is usually done in combination with stamping, but I wanted to recreate this really cute nail art that I found on a blog, which is going to go up on the screen in just a second here, where she gives you a whole walkthrough of how to do lead lighting, so definitely go over there and reference that. But she had these beautiful stained glass nails, and I didn't have a stamping plate with stained glass images on it, so I just quickly did a little freehand black line work, and then all the colors are made up of the different jelly polishes in this collection. I really enjoy this technique quite a bit, and it's not really achievable without jelly polish, so it's another reason to have a great rainbow of jelly polishes at your disposal so I just wanted to show you guys some other ways of wearing these polishes just in case you really don't like how they look as a full manicure I know they're not going to be everyone's jam um, but yeah I just wanted to give you some other ideas definitely let me know down in the comments what you think of this collection keep in mind when you thumbs down a video of mine you're not really relaying the message that you don't like that product that I'm reviewing to me, the message you're relaying is that you don't like my work on that particular video. So if you did appreciate my work in this video, if you want to give it a thumbs up. And any of the other videos, for that matter, that you watch on my channel, if you found something helpful or appreciated my work showcasing a collection to you, go ahead and thumbs up that video. That's what that lets me know. So if you didn't like this collection, instead of hitting the thumbs down button, just let me know down in the comments and I can read all about it. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and start swatching. Like I mentioned, I am wearing the green on my nails. On my lips, I'm wearing this NYX uh, lip cream in the shade Istanbul. So let's go ahead and get on with this swatching. We're actually going to start out with the green that I'm wearing today because it is first up alphabetically. It's called But First Candy, which is really, really cute. I have a major sweet tooth. Um, which I'm trying to ignore right now because being on sugar doesn't make me feel that great, but I really like it. Um, one of the first things that I noticed as being different in this collection as opposed to the previous jelly collection that they released, which was more extensive by the way, 
Um, their new brush, their wider brush, really does help out this formula quite a bit with a teeny tiny little straight brush that they used to have. You used to have to do so many strokes to get that jelly coverage on the nail. I found these to really just glide on so effortlessly with their wider brush, so I really liked that. So this is just a kind of forest green when you've got it built up in three coats. I'm going to show you everything at three coats today. Um, keep in mind that even though these don't look fully opaque in three coats, you can definitely use them for a lot of different ways than for full manicures. So just keep that in mind. If you haven't ever tried a jelly before, they can be really, really fun. So this first one is But First Candy, and I'm going to be swatching everything at three coats. And you're going to see that some of them, for the most part, look pretty opaque at three coats. That's because there's a lot of pigment in these, you guys. There's a lot, a lot of the jelly pigment. And that means that some of the darker ones are a little bit stainer, so keep that in mind as well. You're going to want base coat if you don't normally use them, but you are worried about staining. I'm guessing if you're worried about staining, you probably use base coat. Um, anyway, <laughs> use base coat if you don't want these to stain. Next up in the collection is the orange. This is really beautiful sun-kissed tart orange. It's really juicy. This is called Confection Affection. And they all have the same formula, so I'm going to be swatching everything at three coats. I'm going to just kind of roll through all the polishes together like I've been doing recently in videos where all the formula is the same and I don't really have anything special to tell you between the polishes. Once I've explained the formula, it stays consistent throughout. So this is just a really yummy orange. Uh, beautiful color for this kind of finish really really pretty so confection affection was the orange next up alphabetically is the red and this is more of a berry red than the red in the previous watercolor collection this one's called glazed days so this is the namesake of the collection and probably going to be a lot of people's favorite out of the collection because reds tend to look really nice as jellies the red pigment is almost always stronger than most of the other pigments. It's just really powerful pigmentation. So reds almost always get a little bit more opaque than everything else in the same formula. So the red is glazed days. Next up is Ooh La Lali, and this is the blue. This one was the worst stainer for me. Just watch out, like I said, all the darker ones, just watch out. Um, Ooh La Lali is a beautiful blue, and yeah, just has the same formula as the rest and super easy to apply and these look very glossy even without top coat. I would probably still do top coat on them though. Next up we have the purple and it's kind of a plummy purple. It's definitely a red, more red leaning purple and it's beautiful. It's called Sweet Not Sour, which I love the name for this one. It's so, so cute. Actually all the names were pretty cute. So. Sweet Not Sour, swatch it at three coats just like everything else, and yeah, same story goes here for the purple, it's just a different color. And the final color in the collection is the yellow, and it's called Sweet Supply. And this one's just a really beautiful sunny yellow. It can, it can lean a little egg yolk looking, <laughs> admittedly, especially with the um, formula. But yeah, just a sunny lemon drop yellow. And I'm going to build it up in three coats so that you can see how it would look if you wore this in three coats. That is Sweet Supply, and that was the final polish out of the collection. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, it makes sense that these are limited edition because it's like a very specific audience that I think is really going to like this. But I like to swatch everything. I like to swatch the whole rainbow of color and formula for you guys. Not just the polishes that I think most of you are going to love. I, I like to swatch everything so that you can get a good taste of what is all out there on the market. So anyway, I hope that you found something that you liked in this video or at least found it to be informative. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had some fun. I will see you back for the next one very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye.